This evening is such a great opportunity to join with God's people again in this wonderful discussion. And as youth, we try to find ways to see how God can pour into us. And this evening, we are going to be looking at wisdom to trust. Wisdom to trust. And while we do that, we are going to pray first. Thank you, Lord God, for this great opportunity to join with your children on this medium to discuss about how to trust in you. As we're about to go through this discussion, may your spirit guide and lead us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Amen. Lord, we are discussing wisdom to trust this evening. It's hard to trust people. It's hard to trust when we cannot see. But I want to ask a question. Is there anyone in the Bible that you can think of who trusts God wholeheartedly? Anyone in the Bible that you can think of who I trust God wholeheartedly? Um, Moses. Amen. I, I was thinking of, of Abraham. Amen. Although he kind of messed up at one point, but but him. <laughs> yeah, him. That, is, that is a great um, trust story to me also. And um, Ruth, I, I, Ruth, Ruth's story to me was a deep trust. Even though Ruth did not know Naomi's people, but she trusts Naomi's God so much that she was able to follow Naomi back home. You know? Um, and the Bible did say that we should trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. But we do get in trouble sometimes not trusting God wholeheartedly. You know? I agree. Are there experience in your, is it yeah, experiences in your life when you remember that you did not trust God and you, and you feel bad about it? Yeah, about two weeks ago. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Tell me about oh, well, well, what um uh the you know when you when you work um in Jamaica with the Ministry of Education when you when you should get your remuneration it can it, how how they set it up is that they give you basically like uh, a monthly stipend so that you can at least go to work. And then after they would have sorted out um, the necessary documentation, do their verifications and check, then they, they, they should reimburse you the monies they owed you and then start to pay you accordingly. Mm -hmm. So mine has been, been, been kind of dragged out for over a year now. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, and so it's it's in the final final stages now. It's just mm -hmm. for the the, the 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 ministry to 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 honor it. About two weeks ago, I was you know looking forward to it because I really had some plans, and especially with the the pandemic, you know, it would yes. come in very handy to to yes. to accomplish certain things. And lo and behold, the mm -hmm. the the bursar um, at my school, she just decided to pitch me before you know it was reflected yes. in the bank account that um it didn't come through and i felt so you know mm -hmm. so um what i'm saying so disappointed mm -hmm. and i was so hurt and i was stuck at the gun i was saying man i can't believe that this is happening look how mm -hmm. i had so many plans and things to do and 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 look how i pray and i ask for the thing to come through and it don't come through and, and right. you know they i was i just got a bit caught up in in, in my feelings so to yes. speak and then after that, though, no, um, I was looked reading in the reading the Psalms, mm -hmm. and I I can't remember the the, the the Psalm specifically, but it it it, it was saying that mm -hmm. um, you must in a, in a sense you must trust God, like yes. through whatever circumstances you must trust God because He's your rock, He's your is your is your salvation, mm -hmm. you know, He's your refuge. That that along that line and you know i just felt bad afterwards yeah. i really had to pray a prayer of repentance to say lord mm -hmm. you know forgive me it, yeah. it was you know i just i just got caught up in the, yeah. in, the, in, the in the moment because you know you know in my in my in my life god has always come to come so through, yeah. many times you know mm -hmm. the fact that this one didn't come out the way i wanted it to 
you know, doesn't make him any less um, of a God, doesn't God make him any less work. worthy for me to trust, you know? So yeah. I, I just kind of, kind of feel a little bad, but you know, I renounce me, me, me evil ways yeah. and I just putting it into God's hands. So I'm not even worried about it now. Amen. Well, and I know for young people, I, I don't consider myself to be that young, but I know for young people, sometimes it's hard to trust God and we have to seek wisdom and not only seeking wisdom, but we have to ask him to pour wisdom in us. Because sometimes in our mistrust and distrust with God, we do and we make wrong judgment calls, you know, and sometimes we even go against what we should in order to prove that we want this now and we want it to happen now. But with God, with God, everything is on time and we just need the wisdom to trust him. I don't know about you, but. Have you ever had any relationship with other persons in your community, in your church, in your work, that you find it hard to trust because of something that they do to you? I have had that experience, and I tell you, it is it is it is a silent war that you you you, you roar with every day. It's a silent war that you fight with each day to, to, to go and work with the person. It is a silent war you fight each day to even go to church. But when it comes to trusting God, we have to give up every endurance that, that besets us. Because God knows exactly what we need, when we need it, how we need it, and we just need to trust him. I know it is hard because even sometimes, I, but God doesn't treat us like that. And God doesn't handle us like that. When he says we should, we should relax and let him take over, he knows what he's doing and he means what he's doing. Um, are there any Bible texts in your mind that you can think about, about um, that talks about trust, talks about leaning on God, that talks about um, relying upon him as we discuss wisdom to trust? Are there any Bible Trust in the Lord God? with all thine heart. Yes. And be not on thine own understanding. Yes. In all thy ways. In Acknowledge all him. Thy ways. Acknowledge him. him. And he will direct thy path. You, can get, you know, that is in his ways, you know. In all thy ways. It never say, it never say, Uncle, when you get the money, you must trust me. Or it never say, Uncle, when... Um, when you preach and you encourage somebody you must trust me in all your ways but it's yeah, hard that's true. because you cannot tell a mother a wife who cannot give birth to a child and bury it for years that she should trust it's hard to tell someone to trust when they need something have you ever really needed something and you just can't wait you can't wait to reach a point where you get that thing you just want it to happen no have you ever reached that point Yes, I think I think we have in our in our in our experience, but you see, it, it goes back to us having that relate that that relationship with him. And you know, mm -hmm. they always say that in a relationship you have to have trust. Yes. So you know, to have trust in God, you know, means that we're gonna have these different experiences, mm -hmm. and they are not always gonna be pleasant. Yeah. But we have to learn to trust him in spite of. Knowing that, you know, he has a bigger plan. He knows the end from the beginning. He is boss. So anything that he is directing, it will always be for our good. Mm -hmm. You know, it reminds me of the scripture that says, um, all things work out for good oh, to them uh, who love yeah. the Lord. You know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, we might not see it, but because we are putting our trust in this being that, you know, has never really failed us. And when we do fail, we see how he, how he comes through. So mm -hmm. because of that experience in our relationship with him, you know, it can help us to go through, or it should help us to go through the, 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 um, the dark moments. And even in my case, once, you know, you slip up and you realize that, you know, you didn't do it, you didn't, man you didn't um demonstrate that level of faith or trust that you should have you know you kind of catch up on yourself and realize all right this is not how it's supposed to be so yeah. you know it, it's a part of it, it it's it's a it's a growth process until we we get it perfect and get it and get it um you know get it right so to speak guess what 
God's timing. When you come to trust in God, his timing in our situation is what is required. The Bible says in Psalm 40, and I'm reading from the contemporary Bible, it says, wait patiently for God to help. Then he listen and he will hear your cry. He lift you up out of the pit of despair and out of the dogs of, and miry clay and set your feet on a hard rock, firm path, steady path. When we trust in God, young people, he's going to put us on steady path, firm path. But not only that, when we trust in God, he's going to make our story be a testimony. Are you hearing me? He's going to make our story be a testimony. So as we go through life Amen. each day, let us pray. Let us ask God for wisdom. And not only just any wisdom, but wisdom that come, comes from above to trust him. Amen. When we cannot see Amen. him, when we cannot trace him, to trust him. When you can't see the bill, let me tell you about it. But I am trusting God. And not only that, I'm going to use the experience that I had. Some of you might have heard if you go through the channel and only to know that since 2011, the money I was paying to that account was going to someone who was dead. Come on. Was going to someone who was dead. And I'm paying that money every month to this account. And let me tell you, for two months, two months I fight, two months I trust, two months I lean, Two months I cry and I bow and I holler to God and God sent me someone and that person took my case, work it out to the point where I can see money was reverted and sent back to my account and things were called. Let me tell you something. And it was just a simple little experience that I had in the account that glitched, that pointed me to the fact that this bill wasn't being paid. Listen to me. We need to trust God with our lives. I'm not preaching, but I am passionate about this. We need to, every step that we make in our lives, we need to allow it to be synchronized by the gift of the Holy Spirit. You understand? We need to trust yeah. God and know that he is God of all. And he sees and he knows everything yeah, sorry, that is it reminds me of something that my mother always says about but it's just something that our mother always said about that we must trust God because he can be trusted, mm -hmm. you know, because of how he has worked in our lives, we, we can trust him. And uh, what I'll also put, you see, we, you know, we kind of, this is a good practice and that I want to share with us. We mm -hmm. must document the little and the small things that God do for us. The, the, the breakthroughs that he has, 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 um, you know, wrought in our lives mm -hmm. and, from time to time, look over them because they will help us, you know, mm -hmm. and encourage us, especially when we're going through dark times yes. and when it seems as if he's not there. We read how he did things for us in the past and with the, uh, the reading of the word and, you know. Yeah, no, if, yes, go ahead. When it seems as if, you know, you're not, you're not, that God is not there and they're trusting, you're having trust issues, so to speak. Look mm -hmm. over for those things man and, and 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 get some encouragement knowing that god is not has not forsaken it is a part of the journey mm -hmm. and yeah and and not only that young people we need to pray and when we pray we need to believe what he says he will do psalm 37 says and i'm going to read from verse 4 if you have your bibles i would love you to get your bibles if you have it psalm 37 verse 4 if you have your bibles i'll ask us to read this alternately i want you to get it but i'll start from verse 4 it says be delightful with the lord then he will give you all your heart's desires cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself in any wise to do evil mm -hmm. Amen. So For evildoers shall be cut off. Mm -hmm. read but those that wait upon the Lord, yes. they shall inherit the earth. Amen. I'm looking at verse 16 now. It is better to have a little and be godly than to own than to own an evil man's wealth. For the strength 
of evil man shall be broken, but the Lord takes care of those who he has forgiven. And I'm going to read to verse 23 now. Verse 23 say, The steps of a good man are directed, Kirkwain, by the Lord. Delight yourself in each step Amen. you Amen. take. If they fall, it isn't fatal. You hear that? What did your Bible say, Kelly? Verse 23. What your Bible says? 23 says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Mm -hmm. And verse 24? Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, mm -hmm. for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. And my Bible says, If you fall, it isn't fatal. So Amen. sometimes when we realize we're not trusting God, we need to relax and start trusting because anything we go through it's not fatal he is going to work it out and it's for the lord holds them with his hand this evening i ask of you if it is one situation you're dealing with or many or whatever it is in your life just trust god it's like you're laying down the song says my faith has found a resting place so you need to turn that around now and say, my faith, my trust has found a resting place. Amen. Not Amen. Amen. I trust the ever living word, the one for me, please. I need no other evidence. The song say, I need no other evidence. It is enough that God has done many things for me before. Kirkwain, Kelly, and he will do it again. The song says, he'll do it again. You may not know how, you may not know when, but he will do it again. And that has to do with everything that involves your life. Isn't God amazing, your people? Amen. He yes, is he amazing. is. So don't Amen. Pray. Don't worry. Yes, he Just is. trust God and lean up on him. Kelly, can you read a word of prayer as we close this session this evening? Thank you, Kirkwin. Thank you, Kelly, for joining us with us a smooth talk. And know that you are in God's hand. And just ask him to pour in you trust like he has never poured before. Go right ahead, Kelly. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we come before your awesome presence, we just want to thank you for this medium that you have uh, Allow us, dear Father God, to share with each other. Heavenly Father God, your words remind us that we must trust in you. We must relax, sit down, and watch you work for us. Amen. Heavenly Father God, we want to ask of you to forgive us of our many sins, those that are known to us and those that are unknown. Heavenly Father God, continue to dwell within us, pour in us, Heavenly Father God, we beg of you, pour in us your spirit, pour in us your love. Heavenly Father, God, help us to be our brother's keeper. Be with us through the course of uh, this evening and help us, dear Father, God, remind us uh, that we need to love each other. Thank you, dear Father, God, for Auntie Cherie as uh, her ministry continues to grow. Continue to pour in her as well. Continue to be with uh, Kirk Wayne. Um, as he joined with us also this evening. Mm -hmm. Be with us through Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 So remember, Amen. if you cannot Amen. see him, just trust him and just keep asking him to pour in you as you keep leading upon his everlasting hands. Thank you so much for joining Amen. with us, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week when we will ask God for wisdom too.